Hey, what's up guys? Hope you're all doing well. Today I want to talk to you about a device that will satisfy all your media and gaming needs. So let's say you're tired of watching movies, YouTube videos, and also gaming on the small screen on your phone and just decided to do all of that on your TV. But perhaps you don't have enough money to buy a console like an Xbox or PlayStation and probably your TV is not even a smart TV to be able to stream movies and videos. Fortunately, this device exists, which is an Android box. It's very similar to an Android tablet, if you will, but instead of having a screen, it has an HDMI port, so you'll be able to connect it to your TV like a gaming console. And by the way, this video is brought to you by Wondershare Uniconvert software. Uniconvert is an all-in-one video tool which integrates the best video converter, which helps you to convert any video to over a thousand different formats like MP4, MOV, AIV, 3GP, MKV, and many more. And it's also packed with some easy-to-use tools like Image Converter, Download Video Tool, which allows you to download and convert videos from the internet like YouTube, GIF Maker, which creates GIFs for social media with pictures or videos, Screen Recorder, record your whole desktop activities with audio simultaneously, Fixed Media Metadata, Media Transfer, it will allow you to transfer media directly from your mobile device like iPhone and Android, Video Compression, compresses video without quality loss, Cast to TV, casts videos to a TV as a media server. VR Converter, converts videos to VR format to watch it on a VR headset. CD Burner, and finally CD Ripper. You can download and try Uniconverter for free and it will let you use all these tools I just mentioned for a few times before asking you to upgrade to the full version. And if at the moment you can't afford this software, Wondershare also has another program called Free Video Converter, which has almost all the tools that Uniconverter has, but it's a little more limited to the things you can do. Links to all this in the video description. The name of this Android box is Venkio TB80, and it supports 4K resolution, so it's got some pretty good specs for a smooth gaming experience. So, if you like the geeky information, here it is. It's got an Emologic Quad-Core Cortex-A53 CPU running at 2 GHz. Pentacore Mali 450MP GPU running at 750 MHz. 2GB of DDR3. 16GB of EMMC flash storage. And it's also running Android OS 7.1.2. It comes with Wi-Fi built-in, as well as an Ethernet port for a wire internet connection. Now, with that being said, let me show you how it works. I'm gonna start by quickly unboxing it to show you what you get in the box. Here's the Android box itself, and it's actually a lot smaller than I thought. Alright, so you got the charging port and an HDMI port, AV jack to connect an old TV, Ethernet port, audio jack to connect speakers or headphones, the memory card slot supports up to 128GB SD card, and finally two USB ports for a mouse and a keyboard, or a controller. It comes with a remote to use it like a DVD player or smart TV so you can stream movies and YouTube videos. If you're into gaming, you can also connect a gamepad like a PlayStation controller to feel like you're using an actual gaming console. Of course, you can also connect a USB flash drive. To be honest, this looks like a mini computer to me. Inside the box, you will find the charger, an HDMI cable, and the remote, which by the way, the batteries are not included. All right, so let's hook this up. Thank you. 
once the device boots up, this is what you will see. I'm gonna use an Ethernet cable for a faster and more stable connection and a mouse and a keyboard. Right out of the box, you'll get a few apps already pre-installed. The first thing I will suggest for you to do will be to download any available updates. Now, with this out of the way, let's head to the Google Play Store to download some apps and games. When you decide to download and play a few games, you will come across a few problems. For one, most of the games are meant to be played on a touchscreen. And since we don't have one connected, we are limited to a mouse and keyboard. However, there are some games that support a gamepad like an Xbox or PlayStation controller, but most of the games don't. But don't worry, because let's say you want to play a game that only works on a touchscreen, like this game called Free Fire, which is kind of like PUBG, which becomes impossible to play it on an Android box. Fortunately, I found a solution. First, if you want to use a controller, just connect it with a USB cable. In this case, I'm using a PS4 controller with a regular Android USB cord. And also, you need to download an app called Octopus. Once you downloaded Octopus, open it up and of course, you'll get advertisement. But it's okay, it's worth your time. Once you get to the main menu, you'll see a plus symbol, just click on it. It will allow you to add games to the library that you already installed. So just look for the game that you wanna play. And after that, you can open it, but unfortunately, you have to watch another ad. Once you're in the game, the app will recognize your controller and it's gonna assign a function to all the buttons according to the game. And of course, you can change all the buttons the way you like it. And that's it. Now you should be able to play games like a gaming console on this tiny Android box. I mean, besides the graphics, it pretty much feels like a console, not kidding. You only have to do this once for each game you wanna play, and not every single time you wanna play. And the same goes for playing with a mouse and keyboard. Let me show you what I mean. For example, this game right here, Temple Run, does not work at all with a mouse. But if I load it with Octopus, it recognizes the mouse as a finger, and now we should be able to play. Most of you who follow me know that I'm a huge fan of a game called Dofus, and when I downloaded it, I was shocked that it didn't work with a mouse, so I had to also load it with the Octopus app. I'm just gonna do a quick demonstration that all these games work perfectly fine with a controller and a mouse and a keyboard.
thank you so much for watching. If you have any questions or suggestions for a future video, please leave a comment and don't forget to subscribe for more videos just like this one. And I'll see you on the next one.